Hey guys, it's Rachel here. Oh, it's been a while since I filmed a video in my room. So today I thought that I would just update you guys on everything in my life. I haven't done one of these update videos in a while and you guys seem to actually really love them. They're fun to film. I like to fill you guys in on everything. So let's just hop right into it. So school is a very big struggle in my life right now. I am a senior in high school. I don't know if you guys know that, but yeah, being a senior is not all it is brought up to be. It has just been very stressful for me lately to, you know, keep up with my grades, but still do things after school that I wanna do, but also still like film videos and everything with college that has been on my mind lately college and planning for college and college visits and all that stuff has just been stressing me out so much lately. I just don't ever know what I'm doing and uh, planning for the future is not something that I love to do. I rather just like live in the moment and like look forward to the future but I really don't like predicting my future or like trying to go to college for something that I want to do for the rest of my life like that is something that's hard for me to comprehend at this moment and so school in general has just been stressing me out something that is exciting is that I just went to homecoming Ooh. I've been to one other homecoming I think in my high school life I think I went last year and I didn't go freshman or sophomore year. But I really loved homecoming this year. I went with a date, his name was Ryan, and we went with a group of friends and it was just a really, really great time. It was actually this past weekend, so I'm still like happy about how well it went, <laughs> yeah. But tell me in the comments down below if you guys went to homecoming and how did it go or if you have any other kind of dance at your school. I don't know what else it would be called, but let me know about that kind of stuff. Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up. Ugh. If you know anything about me, you know that I love Christmas. It's my favorite day, season, time ever, every year. And so the fact that Thanksgiving is like in the works near next month, it makes me excited for Christmas. It's gonna be coming up in about two months. Anybody else excited for Christmas? I retweeted some tweet that I saw the other day. There's only 10 more Mondays until Christmas. That's crazy. I'm so excited. Oh, I redid my room. I redid my whole room. Well, eh, not really. I got a new bed, but it changes the whole atmosphere. I got a loft bed. I'm in the process still of decorating everything again in my room to match with the bed and the new comforter and stuff that I got. I've just been so lazy and busy these past three weeks. I know lazy and busy don't really go along well, but that is me. And yeah, if you guys would like to see a room tour, let me know. You guys have requested it previously, but I guess this will kind of give me an excuse to actually show you guys my room if I kind of like do it up all nice and show you my new bed. So as far as acting right now, you guys constantly ask me what new things I'm doing with my acting. And I feel like I always tell you the same things. I'm auditioning, which is important. Not many film opportunities come up around this time of year for me where I live. But you know, I've been going out for every role that I get called into audition for. And it's just all a process. Acting is a huge passion of mine, obviously, you know, making these videos and whatnot. But I've been very confused with how I want to incorporate acting into my life after high school. These whole past couple of years that I've been thinking about college, I've really been wanting to go to school for film, like directing and editing and filming and all of that stuff. Well, lately I've been really, really wondering, is that really what I want to do? I feel like I would be on a set, I would be like behind the scenes, whether it's directing or doing the camera, and I feel like I would just be wishing that I was an actor on the set. As much as I love, you know, behind the scenes stuff, I think the biggest passion of mine is acting. I just don't know. I really love photography though. That has been a passion of mine for the past couple of years. But lately, it has been something that I love doing more than anything else is taking pictures. So I definitely look forward to doing more of that in the future, whether it's creating my own photography business or taking pictures for a company or something. But I just gotta figure out what I want to do. Speaking of acting, 
Uh, I got the lead in the play at my school, which is really exciting. We are doing a show called Harvey, which if you haven't heard about it, it's about a guy with an imaginary bunny friend. Sounds kind of silly, but it's actually a really good show. It's funny. I'm playing the sister of Elwood. Elwood is the main guy played by my friend Ryan, who I went to homecoming with. I play Vita the sister of Elwood, and she's basically crazy. She spends this whole show trying to get her brother committed into this insane asylum when she's actually the one that's insane in the first place. So it's a really fun show. I'm really excited about it. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see another behind the scenes video as I did with my Adams Family musical that we did last year. Harvey is not a musical, but it's a play. And I don't know how much I would be able to vlog since I do have a bigger role this time, but I would be able to show you guys some behind the scenes action if you want to see it. So let me know about that. But I'm really, really excited. So finally, YouTube videos. I am very, very excited to have some great content out for you guys in the next few months. I feel like I say that in every single video, but lately life has been stressful for me, as it is for I'm sure every single one of you guys. Sometimes it is hard to bring myself to coming up with an idea to film, filming a video, making time to edit it and stuff. When school and every other activity comes into my brain, all I can do is, you know, think about what I should be doing rather than filming. Which sucks to suck because I am going to film videos anyways. I have a lot of great ideas coming up in the future that I hope to film. And uh, I'm very excited about it. I continuously am so, so thankful on a daily basis for every single one of you guys that has given me support over these past year and a half-ish that I've had my channel. It just amazes me how much of you guys have subscribed to me and how much support you continue to give me. And it really means a lot to me that you want to see videos from me and you want to interact with me. Speaking of interacting, I will be interacting more with you guys on social media, I promise, because I have been lacking with Twitter lately so bad. I'm the first to admit that. I just never really know what to tweet. I'm like, this is not interesting at all. <laughs> but I really like Twitter and I actually stalk you guys just about every single day on Twitter. I see what you're tweeting, I just don't really tweet a lot. But I also want to start posting more on Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, just a lot of exciting things going on. Yeah. One more thing I wanted to point out. I am planning on doing another Q&A video very soon. So if you have questions, ask me. Leave them down below or ask me on Twitter. Just mention me on Twitter. I guess you can leave them in an Instagram comment and be like this for the Q&A video, but the best way to probably get that question to me is over Twitter or down in this comment section of this video. So yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this update video. I know some of you guys love these, some of you guys might hate them because I'm just talking about my life, but I know that I always like to see what you guys are up to. That's why it's shocky on Twitter and whatnot. But give me an update of yourself in the comments down below. Tell me what's going on with school. Tell me what's going on with your acting whatever you want to tell me let's just talk in the comments so i will see you guys in my next video make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it leave me some video requests down below and questions for my next q a follow me on twitter and instagram if you don't already because like i said going to get more active on those and i love you guys so very much so i will see you all in my next video i already said that but bye Sure, there's still big actors that think about what they did wrong right. and really, really want roles. So I think it's something good to talk about and maybe we can give you guys some tips on how we sort of deal with the, our disappointment <laughs> when we don't book a role. Because it happens a lot. A lot. Let's just say mm -hmm. it happens.